All right, crew, I'm back. Now, this is a part two. There's mirrors and projecting the LEL within oneself and externally. Now, <clears throat> I might add this in there, too. I forgot to do this in the first one. What you should do sometimes when you are exercising and doing yoga. Close your eyes as you do this. When you close your eyes, focus on the specific site directly. Breathe deep. Breathe abdominally. Make sure you are breathing as deep as you can. All right? Now, the thing is with this uh, LEL projection, well, the problem with it is, okay, if you have a normal functioning brain that isn't too screwed up, all right, and you're you're pretty much cool, okay. And if you're and if you're hydrated well, you won't you won't really ex experience uh, cramps. And if you uh, put some energy into your body before you decide to go exercise, you won't experience you know this severe um, just lacking. You know how you know how them new school will be saying you lacking. You know what I'm saying you won't be lacking. Out here, so um, that is that is the start. But breathe deep and close your eyes. It's almost like moving meditation. Okay, consider exercise, yoga, or any type of thing that you're doing. Consider it, consider it moving meditation. It's physical magic, and it does things on a metaphysical level or an atomic level, thing, uh, level which you can't see. You can see the external, but you don't see the internal busting down of the inner, you know what I'm saying, muscles. Now they got it down. Hear this? Hear this shit? People outside got to be coming past, screaming, yelling, man. Right when I'm trying to drop this divine down a little. Slamming my scepter down. You know what I'm saying? Thor's hammer's on the way. And you better believe it. Now project your LEL. This apartment building's crazy, man. Alright. LEL is your life force energy okay it's in your blood and your blood carries your electrons right okay and you got the electrolytes that's what you burn when you're exercising so it's your light energy your photons okay so you have to replenish all of that so after you're done you will want to definitely get your intake of water because when you're when you're outputting all that sweat what do you think your body's doing it's excreting the waste and is doing it in a water soluble fashion which is through your pores your pore skin okay your epidermis now what <clears throat> excuse me y'all damn <clears throat> look so what you do what you do with this um mirror magic is you um you focus yourself into yourself. You look at yourself and you do the exercise slowly or at a moderate pace. But the more time under tension that you get, you know, it's, it's kind of better. So just do it at a moderate, a decent, a decent little pace, whatever your exercise is. And even, it doesn't matter what it is. If you're squatting, any of that, just do the exercise and, and control your form. That's another thing I wanted to talk about, your form. If you have a messed up form, you're actually you can really hurt yourself and then like if your form's not right you're not really properly working the muscles to, to to break them down and get them under the right type of tension so if you might need a little bit of assistance or you a little bit less resistance i, su I suggest go for that you don't want to pop or tear something now that's now if you do if you ever do tear something or pull something or sprain something let it rest for a little bit but what you want to do like if you like say it's like say if you um like you pulled like your 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 like rear delt deltoid or something right and uh it's like like hurt and it's like it looks misshapen or whatever what you want to do is you want to focus your exercise on that specific part of the muscle but you want to focus in the mirror you see what i'm saying and you definitely want to use rubber bands like i said you could do free weights and stuff like that and all that crap, but it's going to, I mean, that might be a little bit tedious trying to set up mirrors in front of free weights. I mean, you might as well go to the gym for all that. But at the cost of going to the gym, you have mirrors. And at the cost of that, you also have uh, the mingling of 
it could be potentially bad energy. You never really know who's in a gym. Just because someone exercises and into their body does not mean that they're a good person, yo. A lot of killers are physically fit. A lot of whores are physically fit. A lot of bad people are physically fit. Do you think that bad people are all fat and sloppy? Slap yourself. Okay? That's really fucking retarded if you do. I'm just telling you that. There are evil people. There are people that are really not good, that have bad energy, bad spirits, and they're, and, they, and they're all about doing bad, that are perfectly physically fit. And that is the grand deception. It looks good, but it's rotten on the inside. Just like when Snow White ate that apple. See, Disney's fucked up, but we know that that goes to show you don't take food from strangers. Snow White ate that apple, her ass was down and out. Boom, uh, cursed by a witch. Buy some light food. And that apple looks so good. She took one bite. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So that's that's how that's man. You you're look. If your your soul is light, your soul eats light and sound. If you are around other people, their soul, you hello, their energy ming is it's like void energy. Okay, where I showed you this shit. I clearly showed you this. There's one one side of a light hole is a black hole. There's there's matter and antimatter. So there's atomic particles and then there's the void, the void particle. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you know what it is. I showed you this shit. And that's what bro says. A, a big a big bro quasi. Once I have a light hole is a fucking black hole. You can't argue with that. It's, oh man, it's fucking crazy. I don't know. I hate this table sometimes, man. I got so much stuff on it. If I was to try to ever get it right, here it is. My bad. Right there. There's the uh, there's the uh, antimatter or the dark matter, and then there's the matter, the atom. You see what it does, man. And what? And okay. And then guess what? And if you're around, if you're around void people, what do they do? Eat your light. They eat your light. Come on, they vamping you. You you heard of psychic vampires? That's why you carry like a lapis lazuli on you or a quartz crystal. Keep that shit up off you. You know what I'm saying? A little amethyst or something. Well, no, you try to use that when you sleep. That helps you to protect you when you're sleeping, you know, when you're in the reason that REM state, keep psychic attacks out your head. But, uh, yeah, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. I don't know. I had my other crystals uh, somewhere. I was, I was doing something. It's cool. I'll get them back out here. But, um, for display but yeah we'll, we'll get into crystal technology magic we'll get into that we're going to get into all types of form of magic i just don't want to cram you on all these tapes and shit i mean that's just not cool you know it's cool for you to cram yourself you know as a, a students we do i'm i'm a master student that's what i do I, I got i told you i got more holes in my head than pinhead got holes to put pins in you know what i'm saying he ain't got shit on me all right now I gotta just break these things down to you guys gradually. I don't wanna, I definitely do not wanna cram shit in these tapes. So, right now we're just talking soul, your, your, the power of your soul. You can't project it. Chi. Like I told you before, if you can punch water and the water only ripples and it doesn't splash erratically, you have mastered Zen finger shooting or punching where you can throw energy with your appendage. Out of your dragon cavity. Okay. That is that is mastery of self. Mastery of the, the light body self. The higher self. And definitely mastery over the flesh. And cellular dominion. That's one hundo. You know. So um, that's what you have to do with your EL. You have to use your the power of your mind. Electric, electronic projection. You have to project the electricity through your body and your muscle structure all right so up and down the spinal cord through your nervous system all the way to the bottoms of your feet and back but you do that in the presence of a mirror and you do that in the presence of yourself you see what i'm saying and that's where all the light energy gets directed that's like projecting your 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 chi too you see what i'm saying now if you want to try to like uh open your, your, your like there's different centers and cavities on your body i have books on that we'll and we'll we'll bust them out i told you this we will bust this shit out tape by tape i got you i promise you and i don't make promises i can't keep so we'll we'll bust it down like there's just different areas on your body like like right here you can rub a little 
little something something that's his little point right there like right chair you know right chair there's there, there's different little stimulus points that you know they they stimulate parts of the body and organs man and it moves the the chi the electricity the the life force the vital energy the key you know however you spell it k i q i c h i i don't know man chi is earth energy look it up chi is earth in japanese even in Kujikiri, Chi, Earth. Hello, you're grounded by the Earth. Negative charge, positive charge by the Sun. Boom, L E L in your in your body, in your in, in your body, your soul, and then the Sun above your head. Bye, out. What you eat in light, and you know artificial light bad for you. So, like, come on, let's get get one hundred with me, uh, Crow Crew. You know what I do? Hmm. I'll talk that. I'll talk that bullshit. I talk that noise talk that noise crew you know so now what you do I try I told you try to use water though as your mirror to project your LEL and I'm betting I'm almost betting that you will um, get a significant boost in uh, projection because it'll con it'll conduct that instead of it being a mirror I'm not really quite sure what a mirror is made out of as far as chemicals. I've never known that in my life, but I'm gonna find out and I'll tell you guys probably next tape. Another thing I wanted to talk about though before I jump off of here. Oh shit, I think I may have forgot it. I'm not trying to be forgetting that. Hold up. I wanted to tell you something. Damn it. I should have just said it. Oh yeah, no, I remember. Alright. Okay, how do you, okay, if you want to do some, okay, here's what you can do. Get, like, something that's black. Okay, like a scrying mirror, black. Get a container that has a black background and put water in it, right? And then meditate, like, stare into yourself, into that mirror. Okay? Do it in candlelight, some candlelight, like, low light, so you can at least see yourself in your eyes and stuff. Stare into the mirror and watch how you shape watch how you shape the void around you Watch how you manipulate the shadows within and without I'm telling you it's, it's insane It's like trippy trippy shit turn the lights down low, but, but get enough light so you can see yourself in this black water Make sure the water is still though But you may see some vibrations. It's trippy man. It's trippy, but that's one way that you can focus your EL into yourself because it's almost like a scrying mirror. What you do, it is a scrying mirror if it's black, but what I'm saying is you can summon yourself into yourself. You're a higher. You see what I'm saying? To, to, to take your mind to the alpha theta wave area territory to have a conductive water performance. You see what I'm saying? In whatever endeavor that you're on, but I was, I'm suggesting that you get in tune with yourself with this type of mirror and doing this type of uh, tact. So on that note, I will definitely catch you on the flip side. You know what I'm saying? Cause I shoot from the hip side with this knowledge, and I'm just I'm just sharing these notes because it's from ex a personal experience. You know what I'm saying? I did this shit too. I've done it. I'm not going to really get into what I necessarily did. It was obviously some mad magic, but it was it was to to bust a move, man. I had to needed to do. I had to bust a magic move, man, for an endeavor that I'm on. And it's not to harm anybody. I'm not. I, it's not. I don't do that. All right. And every word you speak is magic, so don't forget that. That's why I say get into that. Um, Get into that dictionary. I was just telling somebody tonight about that, man. Get into that dictionary, but beware of it. And get into Latin because that's when you start busting shit down. You take English and go to a Latin dictionary and you see if you get a translation or something. Like in vitro, you uh, turn that around. It's ortiv, but it, ortiv is not Latin. Ortus is Latin, and that is birth. So in vitro, you spin it around. You know, it's a artificial insemin. Okay, come on. Don't make me do this shit. I told you that. Crowtown.